Hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Ted. With me are my uh, friends and colleagues here. I'm Nate. Mark. Dave. And uh, today we're going to talk about playing monstrous characters. I like starting off as a monster <laughs> because <clears throat> when I first started playing D&D, we weren't allowed to play anything other than your core races. Uh -huh. So and you always fought against monsters. But you could never play one. And then I started playing with you guys, and I uh, got the opportunity. I think the first one I ever played was a, a, a Minotaur. Oh, I had fun with that. The <laughs> charge, and it was just awesome. And and the stat increases don't hurt either. <laughs> you know, yeah, those are pretty nice. For a guy who likes power, power play, uh -huh. What's better than playing a minotaur or a bugbear or something, you know? Or a uh, werebear. Oh, werebear. Yeah. <laughs> There's been a couple of werebears over the years. Yeah, I think I think third edition, uh, it, it definitely changed the the, the scope. Uh, second edition, they had the humanoids handbook and it gave you lots of options. Uh, but when you got in the third, you 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 got access to pretty much everything that was out there. It gave you. Um, well, the rules for how to say, well, you want to play this race, this is this is what you know it takes. Well, yeah, you know, level wise, with the equivalent level, right? Out of that, the ECL, it was like you can play whatever, uh, you know. But then you also had templates to ch to change something that's already there. It's like, oh well, I want to play a half dragon elf. Go for it. You know, it's only a three. You know, no big deal. Um, you know, I thought it was things like trolls and minotaurs in third edition that you had, you know, so many racial hit dice and so many ECL. That it was like, uh, it was like I was talking to you, to you about this earlier about how, while it's cool to be able to play it, you are so below the power level of the party that it's hard to actually deal with things that are on level with you, as you know, fighting the monster. Well, I found it was the opposite. Like that half dragon elf, he couldn't, you know, he couldn't hang with. If he's an ECL three, and he's a first level character, that's a four. He will not handle for a uh, CR four monster. He will get totally traipsed. Uh, you know they know, but what we got two in third edition that, that kind of helped was the savage species. That that was our monstrous humanoid yeah. handbook, yeah. you know, for third edition. So and that introduced another concept of okay, I'm going all right. Well, uh, it, it literally gave you the baby monster start, where you could actually earn your levels and your hit dice and your abilities. Right, which is kind of weird. Like the uh, I think it was Dragon Magazine that had the uh, were creatures in it, and it had it took you from first level to tenth. I think and it you you it wasn't like you got bit by something and turned into a were creature. You were born that way, and uh, <clears throat> you know I, I think I played a were bear at one point, and um, yeah I got up to like eighth level in it, and it was awesome because you know you. you it changes how often you can uh, transform, whether you can be like, uh, like a lot of times when you transform into like, if you're a werebear, you're either human or a bear. If you're a human, you get your human stats, or you can transform completely into a bear and you get bear stats. But at a certain level, you can yeah, be in hybrid. between, you can be the hybrid. The hybrid was awesome. Of course. And, uh, that's, that was, that's the money shot. With the, yeah. uh, that's the whole point. <laughs> with the yeah. lycanthropes. You want, you want that hybrid. If you have any other uh, you know, ideas, comments, suggestions, feel free to put it below. Character stories. Yeah. Share them. Comment, like, subscribe. Check us out. Share. Check <laughs> us out on uh, Facebook. You can or check you us out on Twitter as well. Or on uh, Nerd Archie's subreddit, How to Stay Nerdy. And with that, until next time. Stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.